Hey guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you an update on my 24 hour fast that I started yesterday at 5 p.m. and today's Friday, it's weigh in day. Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday morning. We are on our 24 hour detox fast and uh, we've gone 12 hours, a little over 12 hours. We started at 5 p.m. yesterday and yep. it's what time now? Uh, it is 7 a.m. 7 a.m. So things are going good. No real crazy hunger strikes yet, but we'll give you, we'll inform you more later. Feeling good. Ah, guys, really good. Got to get the mineral water going. Love the feel and um, it really satisfies you. It's 11 a.m. right now. Going strong, doing great. No real hunger pangs. Feeling very light on my feet. Loving it. Keep you guys informed on what's going on. Hey guys, it's about 2.30 p.m. right now. Um, I'm gonna head home and take a nap. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of a lull right now, so the energy level has come down. So I had to kind of take a sit down for about a good 10 minutes and just kind of breathe. Um, but the hunger is definitely manageable. It's not really bad, it's not really crazy or insane. But I'm gonna go home, rest a little bit, get some more um, of the tea going, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my bone broth that I'm gonna have at five o'clock and along with the vegan protein. And I'll bring that back over here. So guys, this is the bone broth I'm getting ready right now. This is the epic one that uh, has a flavor of beef, jalapeno, and sea salt. It's really good, but it's pretty expensive for the small bottle. So I like to go ahead and I cut that, or I mix it with the organic bone broth that you get from Sprouts, which is a lot more affordable. I put it together, make it into a nice big batch, and I'm gonna put that in my coffee thermos, take it to work with me, and start sipping on that at five o'clock. After about maybe another half hour, I'm gonna go ahead and have a protein shake, uh, and then a little bit of that dark chocolate as a treat. Guys, so sorry, I also just realized that I never actually explained to you why I'm using bone broth as my first meal after a 24 hour fast. Uh, the bone broth is just full of a lot of amazing nutrients in there, something you can sip on every day, um, and it has a lot of benefits, health benefits. Um, there's collagen in it, for instance, when it's being simmered for a long period of time uh, with the bone stock in it, and the collagen is so good for you for um, skin, joints, hair, everything. Uh, there's also, it's great for healing your gut, which is also amazing for boosting your immune system because of that. And a lot of doctors are using it to help fight cancer, as well as a host of other different uh, illnesses and uh, diseases that we fight like osteoarthritis so there's so many good things in the bone broth especially and i prefer using the beef bone broth other than chicken not that the chicken isn't any good but i love the flavor and if you haven't eaten anything in 24 hours and your gut is nice and clear i think it's one of the best things to first put back into your stomach because of the fact that it helps heal the gut line the body, all the nutrients are easily uh, available and easy to access and digest uh, in the broth form. Uh, and it's just so good for you. And I'm gonna leave some links down below so you can do a little bit more research on it yourself. Okay guys, I'm packing my bag to head back over to the gym. I got my protein shake, which I'll have. Probably I'll eat this about maybe an hour after I do the bone broth. Uh, I've got my bone broth in there, nice and steeping. Very warm, ready to go when I'm ready to do that. I'm going to put it all inside of my lunchbox and I'm going to head back over to Functional Fitness and uh, train some clients for tonight and have this in just about 15 minutes. Oh, and I have to do my weigh-in, so i got to go do my weigh-in. I'll see you at the gym. Getting back into the car now and heading back over to Functional Fitness, you know, there were so many things I wanted to do today while I was on my fast. Initially, I wanted to take the morning off and go for a nice hike up to Runyon Canyon, which has a great view of the Hollywood sign. I wanted to show you that you don't have to stay still and you don't have to stay at home when you're doing a 24-hour fast. In fact, it's just the opposite. You want to stay busy and you don't want to sit around and have too much idle time that you can think about food. Now, today was pretty good for me. I did have that moment where I had about a 10-minute lull and I had to sit down and just kind of take deep breaths but my hunger didn't get crazy and I was always in control. I think tomorrow we'll go and we'll ask Carrie how she went because I know she's gone for the day um, and we'll see how she did. I know she did a workout with weights. I wasn't able to get my workout in today. It was just a little bit too busy, but tomorrow I'll definitely do it on Saturday. Okay guys, we're here back at Functional. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. We're gonna run upstairs and we're gonna do our weigh-in and see how we do, okay? 
Okay guys, we're back in the PT room with me and Rockstar Danny. We are gonna go and do our weigh-in for today. Here you go, Danny. You can see us on for right here. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, looks like I'm right at about 236. Let's see. Yep, 236 and a quarter, so I dropped about two and three quarters of a pound. I know I definitely picked up some muscle as well, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Awesome. Okay guys, what well, looks like I dropped in body fat again, and we've had some pretty good readings, and let's take a look at them right now. Okay, so you can see right over here that my body fat has now gone down to an 18.3%. Nothing really drastic, but it definitely has moved down. Let's go ahead and take a look at those trends. And on the trends, we can see that the last time we did measurements, we were at an 18.88% body fat. The weight was 239. As of today, we are now at 18.35% body fat and the weight is 236.2. So that's about a half a percentage drop in body fat in the last week. And about three pounds dropped in total body weight. So we picked up some more muscle as well. The waist was a 15.8 millimeter thickness that it was detecting. Now it is a 14.9, so we see some improvement. The chest was a 7.2. The chest now is a seven even. The thigh was 5.4, and the thigh is still 5.4 as far as the thickness, the millimeter band in the subcutaneous fat that it's reading. So we see some improvement and that's awesome. We see some change. And the main thing, even though it might not be huge or drastic, it's steady. It's still three pounds and we're still going down in body fat percentage by about a half a percent in the one week. So I'm happy with that. I'm hoping it'll start to pick up more because I definitely need to pick up that speed if I want to drop all 50 in 90 days. But let's see how it goes, okay? Good news. Guys, so it's actually a little bit later than it was supposed to be. It's actually like 6, 10 right now, so it's an hour after. I got here to do my weigh-in and I was gonna have my bone broth at about five o'clock, but unfortunately it was, uh, I had a client waiting for me and I had to go and train her and she came a little early, so, but that's no problem. So at six o'clock, I'm gonna have my bone broth. Oh my God, that tastes amazing. All oh, that jalapeno, you guys gotta try this bone broth, the one I showed you, it's amazing, okay? so. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of me doing my 24-hour fast. Um, if you enjoy everything that you like to see, please press the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That always gets me pumped to be able to produce more content. And um, hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time we put up a new video, okay? Thanks for tuning in, and I'm going to see you tomorrow on the 180 and 90. Take care.